Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Enoch and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create image variation swatches in WooCommerce. Okay, so we're going to have image swatches like this and every time someone clicks on them, this product image right here changes. Okay, now before we get started, make sure you have the WooCommerce application or plugin installed on your WordPress website. So now the very first thing we need to do is to install a plugin. So come over to the left hand side and click on add new plugin. Then over on the right hand side, just search for variation swatches and something that looks like this variation swatches and make sure to install this one that is designed by cut flows. So I'm going to click on install now. and click on activate and once you're done the very first thing we are gonna have to do is to go to products and add some attributes we're gonna be using address example here yeah, as I showed you in the introduction so maybe our dress comes in different colors so you want an attribute like dress color something like that and then you have to scroll down and click on add attribute and once you're done it's time to add the colors that the dress comes in so click on configure terms and maybe we have a color like red okay we have black and we have maybe green or oh, we have brown and one more color let's say we have orange all right then click add new dress we've added the colors so the next thing we have to do is to add a product so we're gonna come to under products we're gonna click on add new so we're gonna add a new product maybe you can call it women's dress something like this sorry is like to fill out the right section first so add the main product image I'll go under media library then maybe the front image that I want to use is this image right here and for the product gallery I can click on this go to the media library and add some of these other images um like this okay so that looks fine then under our categories maybe i'll make it apparel and i'm done so on the left hand side i'll quickly paste in some information uh stuff like this and scroll down to the product short section and i'm pasting something like this so now we need to change this product data from simple product to a variable product and once that is done you have to go under attributes and import the attributes that we just created previously so click on this drop down arrow and dress color would show up then we can click on select values yeah to make sure that all our values are selected for example all uh, of these colors black brown um, orange and green are selected then click on save attributes so then you come under variations and generate variations for all the images or for all the colors okay so you have black brown green orange and red okay so one thing i like to do while i'm here is to use these bulk actions in set prices maybe the clothes are 50 bucks yeah and that is set okay so now when you come when you're done with this and you see that all these prices have been you know populated the next thing you need to do is to come under swatches so it's asking us to save this product then the custom settings will appear here so click on publish and once you've published it it's gonna refresh 
and when you scroll down again and come to swatches you'll find that now we have some settings that we can work with so click on this drop down menu okay and change this attribute type from default to image and once you change this you see more drop down menus right here so for the black you can upload an image i've already uploaded mine so maybe for the black we'll use this dress right here then for the brown we'll upload this and all these other colors we're just gonna replace them with the right you know swatch color that we would like um to use okay so now that is selected um what color was this this was orange orange is right here then red we can select this color right here so now we can click save okay so when you update this once again and preview this link in a new tab you're going to see that now you have these swatches or image swatches um right here but they're quite small so to make them larger you have to go back to your product section where you're editing come under swatches on click on swatches global settings or you can come to woocommerce and click on variation swatches so you can click on this and it's going to take you to this page right here and come to settings and come to global settings okay so now what you're going to do um you can increase the width and height by setting these probably to like maybe 70 pixels wide then 70 pixels of height and once you refresh that it's gonna look just like this okay so now you can make them circular by just increasing the border radius um let's see if we set it to 100 so it automatically saves and by making it 100 then you see that now they are fully circular so depending on what you want so i'd rather keep it at around 5 or 10 or 8 pixels and let's see how that looks by refreshing the page and i think i like this better so now um people can select um these here yeah. so i don't like this border width you know i think it's too much when someone clicks on it so go under these settings again and just change this border width to something like two pixels okay two is enough and refresh this and when someone clicks for example selects um it looks like that okay so now let me show you one more trick or two more tricks because i want when black is selected black gets displayed here as a in this product image window when brown gets selected it should appear right here so to do that go back to your product section and come to variations then when you click on all these just make sure that you upload separate images for all yeah for example black we can use that image when you scroll down to brown you can upload this image for example green you can do the same okay then orange let's use that and for red we can use that okay then click update and once done updating all you have to do now is to refresh this page and every time someone selects brown brown will get selected or display a color corresponding to what was you know saved okay okay let me show you one more important setting when you go to general settings and you click on enable by default it's enabled on shop page so when you visit your store let me see you may find okay this doesn't show let me try to activate another theme and i show you what i mean so if i go to appearance so right now i'm using 
uh, Wustify, but if I activate Bloxy, okay, then I try and refresh the product page. Um, you guys will notice that now these swatches are showing up in the product section and sometimes you may want that or you may not want that. So to remove them, um, you still have to go to WooCommerce under Variation Swatches and uh, Settings, then you disable them for the Shop section. Okay, then it's gonna look um, something like this. It's gonna look like this without those swatches, and these swatches will only be maintained on this um, product page. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys, and catch you on the next video.